Our top story at 6, the Jackson Parish Jail will soon be housing inmates at its brand new facility in Jonesboro. But before it's officially open, NBC 10's Valerie Moravi tells us about the new programs that will be offered and gives us insight. Valerie? That's right, Kyla. Well, the Jackson Parish Sheriff Andy Brown tells me this multi-million dollar new jail will be more safe and more secure for both officers and inmates. Sheriff Brown says the construction of the new facility comes after the previous building couldn't house the parish inmates anymore. They got a contract with ICE and they started housing detainees and they were under the contract. At some point, the ICE or government wanted us to take our prisoners out. We started housing our prisoners, local prisoners, out of parish. And, and I began plans on uh, over two years ago to build this. The $7 million facility aims to provide better safety and equipment. But I've paid $6 million so far. I've not had to, to, to raise taxes or do anything. We had a surplus at the sheriff's office and we used the money for that purpose. Sheriff Brown says a new technology will allow officers to have access to every cell and dorm. For instance, if an inmate were to take something and slip it under his mattress and we're not sure what that is, we can go and zoom in exactly to that spot and try to identify what they were doing. In addition to the facility's capability to house 400 inmates, Brown says a new section was built to hold up to 50 juveniles. He says they plan on implementing ministry workshops seven days a week to help put inmates and juveniles on a better path. Our goal is to put you back on the street a reformed person. An inmate to become successful, a change life when they come out of here, that's our prayer and that's our hope and that's our goal. Well, the new facility holds 40 inmates at the moment, but the official opening will be on August 1st. Reporting live in the studio and Valerie Moravi for your Clemens News Source. All right, thank you so very much, Valerie. Well, it has been